some other way. And that's when I decided you might prove useful, Snake. What big twist? Okay, let's just skip all this because he's Master Miller's really liquid. Bullshit, Tom. Huh? That's fucking gay, isn't it? Another waiting part. You have to wait for a fucking Otacon or whatever in this room. Gotta equip the fucking gas mask and then sit on that for a moment. Doing this in texting is actually really hard to do. You have to press the Y button to keep yourself from dying. I think I gotta call Otacon. Snake, that's bulletproof. I had to call Otacon. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Yeah, got through that shit. Liquid. Did you like my sunglasses? I didn't even really have to look up to read that. <laughs> Oh, this is where the shit gets real. The shit just got real already by that thing just being moved anyway, even by a fucking elevator. I think that this world's actually capable of doing something like that? That's kinda scary. Holy shit, it's moving! I don't know what he was thinking here. I don't know what he was trying to accomplish. Alright, I'm just gonna jump to conclusion before this even happened. It's just like, what the hell? What the fuck was he thinking? And it's making T-Rex noises, too. Alright! Let's kick some MG fucking ass! The moment we've been all waiting for. Oh shit, I hate the knee missiles. If you look at that, he's got a dick. Oh shit. Fuck, it got me. He's got a dick laser. <laughs> and it's right now very unhappy. Oh, don't run towards it, Zach. Don't run towards it. Oh my god. Okay, so now we just gotta shoot that little Radom thing and fucking... Oh, hell to the fuck now. Come on, get angled up here. Oh yeah, that's right. Do head towards it. Because you also gotta put... Keep in mind that it can't fire under it, too. See, it can't fire at a certain angle. Shoot him in the dick. Fuck. But you better get it right, because... Oh, fuck me. Oh, okay, I got him. Got him! <laughs> got him! No, it did not. I love how I was going to say that that was going to be the ending there. But really, we're going to change this up a bit. Gray Fox fights and whatnot. And now he's just laying there. Really, I wanted to show this scene. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, see you guys next time.
What is going on, everybody? Uh, this is Blackman Mass 48 here, and we are left. We just left off right there. Oh god, this looks weird. Just like seeing it scrape. So yeah, he destroyed the radium and everything. So now he can see whatnot, and he can't see. And then he had to open up the mouth thing. And oh, yeah, they have a touching moment. I totally skipped because I forgot that I was running completely out of time. So. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of cuts from that last episode just because of the um, waiting for all that bullshit with the card key and stuff, me texting. No one wants to see any of that kind of crap. So, I mean, as soon as I pick up the phone, I'm just going to be out fucking pass through all that shit. So, yeah. Now we're watching poor Fox get dismantled. He's already lost an arm. He's getting crushed. Fox, the most hilarious fox. His mouth vibrating, scrapes, and the clamps. There we go. When death is entreated. Yeah, love that. Now, oh, oh. thank you for noticing me. Big monster thingy. Uh. How does he target without a without the radar? He can't use missiles if he can't have, if he doesn't have like a targeting system. He can't manually target, can he? I'm guessing Metal Gear Re Rex. I mean, not Ray. Metal Gear Rex is not all that badass, or actually is badass. You and your dick laser trying to piss on me with your laser and shit. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I actually hit him. I was just like, oh, frick. So now we're just gonna run around and find fucking whatever we can. Now I'm like behind the Metal Gear. Oh, there's a ration. Behind the Metal Gear. Wow, that's very appropriate. <laughs> He's not gonna move, is he? Oh shit. There he goes. <laughs> there you are! I'll crush you into dust! Fall down, Rex. It's not worth it. Still my favorite metal gear. I swear to God, if it's in Phantom Pain, I'm gonna squeal like a girl. And with the Metal Gear Rex destroyed, nobody gives two motherfucking shits because eventually Liquid dies from Fox Die. And. the world's a better place. So this is the finale, everybody, because this is where it ends. This is going to be where it ends and where I want it to end because I'm tired of this shit. You're wrong. You're wrong. God. The completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. I love that story, the gene therapy and shit. Right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They're fucking retarded, though. So the genome soldiers mean that the look behind you, Meryl. Meryl. Can you hear me? Let's 
So we're gonna fight to the death on top of a destroyed Metal Gear. Okay. What's wrong, snake? I missed, because you just moved, you little janky shithead. I hope Big Boss stabs your ass in the fucking Phantom Pain. I think, like, everybody thinks that that 12-year-old kid is liquid. His name is Eli, the whole David and Eli thing, the stronger brother and the weaker brother of... Oh, shit. Like, I love that, that reference. But it, it's definitely proven that he might be... That it might be, um... Like, he also has, like, jackal... I think it was jackal teeth on his, um... On his, um, like, necklace that he was wearing in the, uh, trailer. So, he said that he hunts jackals. And all that, and it's just, like... It, it's just, it's really a good, um, assumption. Oh, Jesus, we were, like, fused together. Oh, shit! And I'm probably gonna die because I'm an idiot. Oh, yay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die because I'm a dumbass and was talking through this whole thing. Uh... Okay. I was afraid to run towards him, but... Okay, let's try and heal a little bit. Okay, alright, I'm really focused because I don't want to do this fight over. Oh shit! Ooh. Fuck! Oh shit! Okay. Alright, one more hit and he's dead. Probably gonna- Okay, I was about to say, if I fuck that up, I'm gonna be pissed off to the core. That's like the last thing. The epic psh, clashing of two kicks. Eventually, he kicks him off the side and unleashes Meryl's arms, and we're out of here. And. Let's get the hell out. That's what I was about to say. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because <laughs> I. And this is where, like, this is the, um... Yeah, we have no weapons and stuff. It's really shitty. Oh, fuck, there's a... A, um, ration. Yeah, rations are our best friend here. Oh, shit. I can't believe that's, for the most part, actually working. There we go. Now we're at... Oh, fuck, there's another ration back there. I really needed to... I really, I really needed to... Okay, this is where the shit gets real. Sucks I can't shoot her in the face. Okay, we... Peter's boss.
Oh, we'll make it. <laughs> there they go, Rambo. Roar! I think that's the last checkpoint. Epic music. And now it's time for guess who to come back and fucking piss us off. You guys all guessed it, Mr. Liquid Snuck. Now what I do is I always shoot the lights out because they're always fucking blinding, but in this case it's not even like remotely a problem because of the fucking brightness on my fucking TV. I never really got this part. Like, I don't really see the point of shooting at him. How does he reload the Fomus? That's probably my Fomus, isn't it? But a lot of money. And he's a really good shot, too, apparently, while driving. How are you... Okay, ducking when we're side to side does not work. Sorry. Don't care how much... There we go. And I'd hate to say it, but we pretty much just beat Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. So, we're probably going to see a lot of shit here. This is where it gets pretty hilarious. Like, this is some really epic music mixed with it at the same time. It's just a really awesome scene. Well, not this one, just right here. She's knocked out. This is awesome as hell. Never see a headbutt go backwards instead. All those contacts and whatnot. It's just... Jesus. You can tell that everybody here has just had a bad day. <laughs> Meryl, are you okay? <laughs> it's just like, damn. <laughs> I'd be like that too if this motherfucker just fucker fucker <laughs> this motherfucker just lived through it. So yeah, that's pretty much Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. So I, I'm not even gonna go through the last two cutscenes because fucking game is amazing. You guys have to really play it. I really highly recommend it. It's just it's a really good series. It's definitely up there. Uh, Metal Gear is pretty much you know one. Of, it's one of my favorite franchise is probably right now my favorite of all of them at this moment that's still alive today because there's just there's so much shit to it it's just like kojima has like ran out of ideas pretty much after phantom pain i don't know what they're gonna do with it because i mean phantom pain is supposed to link it with like the nes like not the nes one but the uh, msx um uh, metal gear where uh, solid snake makes his appearance and that's back in like you know that's an old old game so, you know, I'm I'm really, really excited to see it. Um, Paul Eiding, wow, he did a lot of things. He, um... He voiced uh, the grandpa off of uh, Ben 10. Um... 
can't remember anybody else. David Hayter is actually one of the writers for the X-Men movies. For actually X-Men, um, the first X-Men and X2. So that was, that was really awesome to see. Uh, Cam Clark was actually one of the voice actors. He was, he's a really popular one too. He was, um, the nine, late eighties, early nineties, I think. I think Aram got that backwards. It's early eighties, early to mid eighties. Um, he voiced, uh, I think it was Leonardo? One of the Ninja Turtles. And you can, he's got a very distinct voice, so you can't really miss it. Um, he also voiced, like, so hearing Liquid's voice come out of a fucking turtle is just hilarious. He also voiced some people in some animes, like Bleach, I think. I think it was Bleach. Um, I can't remember any of the other ones. Uh, David Hayter wasn't really a popular actor. He wasn't really a popular writer. Um, I think, I think he also did part of the screenplay for X-Men... X-Men 1 or 2, I can't remember. I think it was the first one. That or was the second one that I was looking into. Um, so, what other fucking characters? I know one of these... It was it, It's not in this game, but Phil Lamar. He voiced Vamp in the second one and the fourth one. The fourth Metal Gear Solid. He's the voice actor for Ollie Williams off of Family Guy. That was awesome. And then the voice for the boss, Lori Allen, I think. She was she's the voice actress for um, for Diane Simmons off of uh, Family Guy. So that that's really funny to see. Just some of those, some of the people that voice on there. I was just surprised that I didn't catch it already. Not not Phil Lamar voicing Ollie because that was that would that was very that caught me off guard. So <laughs> um. I think it was I think he voiced Dolly. It was somebody from one of these games voiced Dolly. Um So every time I see Vamp I always I always just imagine him saying I want blood in in Ollie's vo in the Ollie voice. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. Um Damn, there's a there's not that many people that worked on a lot of these a lot of a lot of this game. I mean nowadays there's like fucking credits or worse than movie credits on games. I mean, it takes a lot more. I sometimes I think it takes a lot more to make a game than it does to make a uh, movie. It probably costs less to make a game, but I don't know. It, it's really it's really up there, like, you know, in questioning. So, I mean, it's getting more and more expensive to make a game. Like, software is getting more expensive and stuff. But... Anyway, uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys have watched this far into it, I'm glad that you guys were able to hear my words. You know, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, you know, subscribe, do what you guys want to do. Um, you know, please promote the channel. I'm really excited to actually start doing Let's Plays again and trying it in this fashion because, honestly, I, I feel like, you know, I'm definitely... A lot more social than I was in the last few videos that I did that were like this. Um, I've definitely gotten a little bit more commentary. Well, commentary wise, I'm definitely a little bit better. Um, I mean, there's times where I still am on my phone, but you know, um, sometimes it just happens. So yeah, Zone of the Enders. I did not know that was like a real franchise until like I thought I knew it was like a franchise. It's not a franchise. It's like a um, it's just like a game that I found out for PlayStation 3, not too long ago. Scott Dolph. He was the name of a character in the second one, I think. It's kind of ironic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and um, I will see you in the next Let's Play. Please leave in the comments below what you want me to play next, because I will definitely you know hear your voice and if it's a game like most games that you know that i play blind will probably be a lot better and probably more funnier because if i play a game blind then i don't know what i'm doing you know and i'll be like what the fuck do i do you know it, i think it'll be a lot better so i mean hopefully it's a game that i've never played and honestly that i've wanted to play like Star Fox. i've never really played it um, I've never played the, uh, I've never played Earthbound, but holy fuck, screw that, because that's an expensive game. 
I mean, I want to play a game that I can actually do it on, you know, something like this. Uh, PS3 and 360 and Wii games, I think those are the highest that I'm probably going to go because I don't have any, like, licensing, licensing on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, so I don't think there's even any licensing out there for it. So I wouldn't be able to do them. You choose life. And then live. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes. Yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. 